This is problem number 8 from section 2.2. This says a car went 348 miles in 6 hours, traveling part of the time at 55 miles per hour and part of the time at 65 miles per hour. How long did the car travel at each speed? So we know that uh, we know the car traveled, let's just make a timeline here. The car traveled from point A to point B. Uh, this distance here was 348 miles. Now, we know part of that time, and we don't know which one was longer, but part of that time, uh, they went 55 miles per hour, and uh, the car went also 65 miles per hour. So in total, this is 348 miles, and it took, we're going to call this zero hours. This is six hours. It took six hours to get there. Uh, but we know at that a certain uh, percentage of the time we're going to go, uh, let's write this in here, 55. And then the other percentage of the time, it was 65. Now I drew this showing 65 being the longer amount of time, but you know that's not necessarily true. 55 could have been a long, longer period of time. You just got to kind of pick one. I didn't want to put it right in the middle. So we know that they're going a certain amount of time at 55 and a certain amount of time at 65, and they're also going a certain distance for 55 and a certain distance for 65. Now this problem is going to come down to using a formula that you may have seen in like your physics class. But we know distance equals speed times time. They give us two speeds here. And we know our distance is made up of uh, going one speed for a certain amount of time and another speed for a certain amount of time. So our total distance for this formula is 348 miles. So let's go ahead and write 348. And we know 348 miles is going to equal some speed Right, or, or, sorry, not some speed, but 55 miles per hour times some time and 65 miles per hour times some time added together. So let's go ahead and write this out. We're going to say 55 and then we need to take it times some time. Well, we're going to, let, let's label this. I'm going to say X is going to equal, uh, this is going to be the time at 55. Now, this is a really important piece of information because once we set our variable to equal x equals time at 55 miles per hour, well, what's the time going to be at 65 miles per hour? Well, the total time is 6 hours, right? So the total time is 6 hours. So we know that that is going to be, um, we know that this, uh, this is a little expression that we can write here then, if x is the time at 55, then if we have 6 hours being the total time, 6 minus the time at 55, well that's going to give us the time at 65. So x is the time at 55, and 6 minus x is the time at 65. And this part, hopefully that makes sense to you, that if you take the total time minus this time at 55, well, that just leaves you whatever's left, and you, that picture right here kind of describes that. So we're going to do 55 times its time, which is x, and we're going to add it with uh, 65 times its time, which is 6 minus x. So as you can see here, we have a uh, speed times a time plus another speed times its time, and when you add those two things together, just like you should see it here, you'll get the total distance, right? D equals S times T. Let's go ahead and distribute then. So we have 348 equals 55X plus uh, 65 times 6 gives you 390 minus 65X. Combine like terms, and we can subtract this across. So we're going to do minus 390 on each side and let's see that'll give you negative 42 equals negative 10 X divide by negative 10 on each side and so we get uh, negative 
42 over negative 10, which gives you 4.2 equals x. And this is 4.2 hours. So our uh, time at 55, we're going to write that here, time at 55, remember x is time at 55 miles per hour, equals 4.2 hours. And that means that our time at 65, well, we know that's the total time, which is 6 minus that time. Well, 6 minus 4.2 is 1.8 hours. And so on this trip of 348 miles, uh, this person drove 55 miles per hour for 4.2 hours and 65 for 1.8 hours.